You will remember this video for a long time. You will see the fingerprint of an ancient giant which shocked scientists from all over the world and you will see a photograph of the city of God which was leaked back in 1995. Find out what the archaeologists managed to find under the melting glacier and learn what the devil's corkscrew is. Watch the video to the end, you've never seen anything like this. Hi friend, you're on the Kurtop channel. Templar Secret Tunnel the famous Templar Tunnel is an underground passage located in the city of Akko, modern Israel. This tunnel was built by the Knights Templar and served as a strategic corridor connecting the fortress to the port. After Akko fell in the 13th century, the tunnel was lost and forgotten. And only relatively recently, in 1994, the tunnel was reopened thanks to the work on cleaning the sewer pipes. The Kingdom of Jerusalem dates back to 1099 and about two decades later, the poor companions of Christ and the Temple of Solomon, who went down in history as a Templar, were found by the French knight Hugo de Payen. The headquarters of his military order was located on the Temple Mount, and its main purpose was to protect the Christian pilgrims heading to the Holy Land. The tunnel itself is 150 meters long and crosses the whole city quarter of Pezen. It was carved in natural stone in the form of a semicircle arch, and its ceiling is composed of a layer of cut stones. The eastern end of the tunnel is in the southeastern sector of Akko, in an area that was the inner anchorage of the city's port during the time of the Templars. As for the Templar Tunnel itself, no one knew about its existence for centuries after the fall of Acre. Only in 1994 the structure was reopened. That year, the woman who lived right above the tunnel had problems with clogged sewage. It was when the problem was investigated that the Temple Tunnel was discovered. Subsequently, the tunnel was cleared and a walkway, lighting and access were added. And in 1999, the Knights Templar Tunnel was opened to the public and became one of the city's tourist attractions. Belenek Isla Emperor of the Ancients Belenek Island in the Adriatic Sea looks unusual only when viewed from above. It looks like a big fingerprint, and all because it is densely covered with stone walls which were supposed to protect plants from strong winds. During their construction, no mortar was used. People manually selected stones of the desired shape in order to fold them like a mosaic. The area of the island is only one and a half kilometer square. Nobody lives there today. The island reaches only half a kilometer in length, but the total length of its walls is as much as 23 kilometers. Much of Croatia's countryside and coastline is covered with stone walls. They were built centuries ago and were used to divide the boundaries between adjacent croplands. In addition to dividing agriculture by boundaries, the walls also protects crops from strong winds, making agriculture possible along the coastline. The Croatian government asked UNESCO to include its stone walls in the list of World Heritage Sites, and the request was granted. Place of the Battle of the Era of Ivan the Terrible Russian archaeologists have identified the site where the Battle of Sadbeshing between the Russian army and the Crimean Horde took place in 1555. After reports of the discovery by the diving club of ancient objects at the bottom of the Gogol River, archaeologists surveyed the area where at least 300 different artifacts were found, including more numerous arrowheads and a coin from the time of Ivan the Terrible. They concluded that one of the final stages of the two-day battle took place here. The Battle of Destiny is one of the most famous battles in Russian history during the pre-Roman era. It took place on June 24, 25, old style, 1555 in the vicinity of the Sadbishi tract on the territory of the modern Oral region between the Russian army of Ivan Sheremetyev and the Crimean horde of Kandzava Agre. Despite the numerical superiority on the part of the Tatars, the Russian army managed to retain its position and forced Davla Agre to retreat in this step. According to historians, about 5,000 Russians and 15,000 Tatars died in the battle. This event became one of the important steps towards stopping the raids on Russian lands from the site of the wild field. Tizel Princess we all read the tale of the Sleeping Beauty in childhood, but there is no smoke without fire because there are really many legends about the snow face. It is unlikely that they would have arisen out of the blue. The story of the Tezel Princess is a direct confirmation of this. A mysterious find in the Kamarova region more than a half century ago could have turned modern ideas about the origin of people. But until it received wide publicity in scientific circles, each of us decides for himself whether to believe in its truthfulness or not. 
In the fall of 1969, stripping works were carried out in a coal mine in the Tsisolsky district of the Kamerova region. Everything went according to plan until the workers saw a two-meter marble sarcophagus in the very heart of a huge coal seam. They lifted it to the surface and tried to open it. There was putty in the joints. Under the influence of the sun's rays, it seemed to melt and the lid of the stone casket easily opened. It was a coffin filled to the brim with some kind of pinkish-blue liquid. In it rested the perfectly preserved body of a girl who was later nicknamed the Tizzle Princess. She was dressed in a delicate white dress and in her head was a small black box. A few days later, the delegation of scientists arrived at the coal mine. They shoveled the entire area and interrogated eyewitnesses, after which the elderly professor told the residents of the village of Rzhavchik, located not far from the excavation site, that the Sleeping Beauty was already 800 million years old, which means that Darwin's theory was not true. In addition, he said that the alien version was immediately rejected because research confirmed that the found disease belonged to the human species. Nevertheless, it was not possible to decipher the composition of the fabric of the dress in which the prince was dressed. Perhaps it was influenced by that very pink blue liquid, the components of which could not be identified either. After the visit of scientists, a note was published in the local newspaper that a marble sarcophagus with a sleeping beauty inside was discovered in the Tizzle region. It also spoke about the estimated age of the deceased and that the ancient relic turned the whole story upside down, saying the level of civilization to which the girl belonged was clearly much higher than ours. Very soon the military arrived in the village of Rzhavchik and confiscated a number with a note from the citizens, and all because some people were unhappy the information about the Tizzle Princess was kept silent. The fighters for the truce went to various authorities and even wrote a letter to the Cathedral Committee of the CPSU. A year later, one of the most active participants in the struggle died suddenly. Perhaps it was a coincidence, but within a year, one after another, all six discoverers of the sarcophagus died in car accidents. Everyone else, in order to avoid trouble, no longer tried to get to the bottom of the truth. There was no more information about the Tizzle Princess. The strange thing is that for some reason the information that was classified more than a half century ago is still a secret. Maybe scientists are just too lazy to rewrite textbooks on history and biology. Remains of two victims of the eruption of Vesuvius during excavations in Civita Giuliana, a suburb of ancient Pompeii who died in a volcanic eruption in 79 AD BC, archaeologists have discovered the remains of two more people. According to scientists, one of them belonged to the aristocracy, the second was his slave. Excavations in this place have been going on for several years. In 2017, a stable with the remains of three harnessed horses was discovered here. All indications are that this area used to be a large, wealthy villa that belonged to a representative of the Roman aristocracy. The bodies of the men were found in the underground part of the house, at the end of the corridor that led to the stairs to the upper level of the villa. Experts made casts using the well-known technology of plastering the remains, thanks to which they were able to see even small details such as the folds of the tunics of both men. Gypsum was poured into the cavities found under the ash layer, and this made it possible to recreate the figures and postures of people at the time of death. Experts believe that one of the victims is a man aged 30-40 years of clearly high social status, and the second is his young slave of about 25. According to scientists, the found victims of the eruption did not die on the first day, but because of the second pyroclastic flow, a powerful volcanic explosion that occurred on the next day. City of God in the Space Image January 1995 literally shook the whole world. It's all about an article published in a German astronomical journal which aroused serious interest from publishers around the world. This article boldly declared that the Abba of God himself was discovered in our universe. Numerous scientific and popular publishers rushed to publish a sensation on the pages of their magazines and publications. It all started on December 26, 1994, at the NASA office in the United States. The pictures taken from the Hubble telescope amazed scientists. A series of deciphered images showed a huge white city in the middle of space. NASA members did not have time to react quickly and shut down the Hubble web server. As a consequence, the images usually sent for further study to closed astronomical laboratories were made public to the world. It took only a few minutes for the photos to be shared with everyone on the network. At first, one of the frames contained only a snapshot of unremarkable foggy spot. Ken Wilson, a professor at the University of Florida, 
additionally armed with a handheld magnifier, decided to study the photograph in more detail. As a result, the professor discovered that the stain has a rather strange shape. He ruled out the possibility of interference in the process of transferring the image from Hubble to Earth. He was also not explained by the diffraction of the telescope lenses. Representatives of NASA, after an urgent meeting, decided to re-remove the area where the fog was discovered. For this purpose, the Hubble telescope was programmed for the highest possible resolution and the telescope lenses were directed to the very area of the starry sky. After several agonizing minutes, the telescope recorded a photograph with a characteristic sound. The snapshot was instantly displayed on the huge projection screen of the laboratory, capturing all the attention of the assembled scientists. That very little foggy spot appeared before them in a completely different gaze, disturbing the consciousness. It was a kind of structure gleaming with light, vaguely reminiscent of a mystical city floating in outer space. The city was as if built according to the classical canons of pseudoscientific fiction and futuristic ideas about the city from the future. The structure, shining with mystical light, spreads in endless space for no less than billions of distant kilometers. The name of the abode of the Creator, where the Lord God belongs, was instantly assigned to the city hanging in the middle of the vastness of space. One of the representatives of NASA put forth or with the theory that the discovered city is inhabited by the cells of the diseased. Obviously, the representatives of NASA are talking nonsense and brazenly trying to convince the truth of their statements, which is even worse than science which obeys politicians. The series of images obtained from the Hubble telescope were subjected to detailed analysis as a result of which it was found that the city moves in accordance with the movement of galaxies located around it. The movement takes place in accordance with the theory of the Big Bang, which speaks of the absence of deviation from the laws of the universe. Soon, scientists discovered another fact regarding the movement of the city. A three-dimensional model of distant parts of the universe transferred to a projection screen showed that it is not the universe that is moving away from the Earth, but the Earth from the universe. It was the abode of the Creator that was taken as a starting point of reference, which was the kind of a center of the universe. This was confirmed by a computer model which showed how galaxies move away from the city. One of the greatest golden treasures in history One of the largest, richest, and most beautiful gold treasures in Danish history has been found near the town of Jelling in Denmark. The treasure dates back to the 6th century. An amazing discovery was made by an amateur archaeologist who had recently bought a metal detector and wandered around the fields with it. Moreover, the treasure was found more than six months ago, in December last year, but the discovery was made public only now. The hoard weighs a little less than a kilogram and consists of saucer-side medallions and Roman coins that have been turned into jewelry. The most important is the heavy gold coin of the Roman Emperor Constantine the Great. Some of the items have a runic designs and inscriptions that can refer to the kings of that time, as well as to Scandinavian mythology. One of the finds is a brechtier, with a series of runes and a braided male head. There is also an image of a horse and a bird. In addition, there is a runic inscription on the coin, which according to early interpretations, translates as supreme. Supreme can refer both to the ruler and is especially characteristic of later mythological contexts, to be associated with the god Odin. Scientists know that although there was a small city in the area during the migration period, there was no evidence that long before the rise of the Danish kingdom, there lived an unprecedented military leader or a great man who was the only of these treasures. As experts explain, in the early 500s, some very rich but unknown person decided to bury his treasury, perhaps in the hope of saving it in case of war or as a sacrifice to higher powers. The second version is supported by the fact that at this time the climate in Northern Europe turned upside down after a volcanic explosion in Iceland in 536, and it was for this purpose that most of the treasures of that period were buried. What Neanderthal children and modern babies have in common? Italian scientists analyzed teeth belonging to three different Neanderthal children who lived between 70,000 and 45,000 years ago in a small area in northeastern Italy. Teeth form rings like trees and can provide information about a person's health and diet. By studying teeth, researchers can get an idea of how people lived. Thanks to a combination of geochemical and histological analysis of the ancient teeth of children, experts have come to unexpected conclusions. They found that newborn Neanderthal babies weighed 
made the same weight as modern babies and developed at the same rate in early childhood. For example, Neanderthals wean babies at about the same age as modern babies. They introduce solid foods to their children's diets at about 5 to 6 months of age. Experts note that this similarity is due to physiology, not cultural characteristics. Neanderthals are the closest relatives of humans on the evolutionary tree. The stages of their development and lifestyle have always been actively discussed in the scientific literature, therefore the results of this study are very important for history. A warehouse of ancient arrows was found under the glacier. Norwegian archaeologists have explored the lands discovered after the melting ice in the Jotunheimen National Park and discovered a whole collection of ancient artifacts. Almost 70 arrow shafts, shoes, fabrics, and deer bones have been preserved on the mountainside. Radiocarbon dating has shown that the oldest items date back to 4100 BC and the most recent to 1300 AD. The discovery confirmed that several thousand years ago, local tribes were actively engaged in deer hunting. Some arrows still have their heads. They were made from different materials – iron, quartzite, slate, muscle shells, and even bones. In some places, traces of twine and resin remained, with the help of which the point was attached to the base. Scientists have also discovered shoes that are 3,000 years old and a cloth that was probably used to wrap the meat. They noticed that the products of different eras were in random order, although it was assumed that the most ancient products would lie on the bottom and those close to modern times on top. According to experts over the past millennia, the ice has melted and refrozen many times, and the layers of the glacier have shifted. What is a Devil's Corkscrew? In 1891, when geologist Irwin Berbore was on an expedition to a badland near the White River, Nebraska, locals drew his attention to unusual fossils. They were sand-filled spiral tubes up to 3 meters long with walls of white fibrous material. Such fossils were found in an area that at that time was considered the bottom of a dry ancient lake. The local population called them Devil's Corkscrews, and Barbour, believing that he had discovered a new, previously unknown genus of fossil freshwater sponges, gave it the lading named Demonalix, translated the name from English. Later, when it became clear that the area where the Demonalix fossils were found was not a lake, but a semi-area stop 22 million years ago, Barber suggested that his find was not a sponge, but an unknown land plant. However, paleontologist Edward Cope and Theodore Fox, who drew attention to the fact that bones of an unknown rodent were found in one of the corkscrews, already in 1893 independently put forward a hypothesis according to which Demonalix were not fossils of organisms, but animal burrows. In 1905, Olaf Peterson of the Carnegie Museum confirmed that Barber's findings were fossilized burrows and the rodents that dug them were fossil relatives of beavers. Tell your friends about this video and subscribe to the channel. Click on the bell not to miss new videos coming out. Thanks for your views. Bye, everyone!